<clears throat> Hi guys, welcome to my series Extreme Feats of Memory and today I'm going to be attempting to recite um, from Hamlet uh, Act 1 Scene 3. Here goes. Hamlet Act 1 Scene 3. Enter Laertes and Ophelia. Laertes. My necessaries are embarked. Farewell. And sister, as the winds give benefit and convoys assistant, do not sleep but let me hear from you, Ophelia. Do you doubt that? Laertes, for Hamlet and the trifling of his favour, hold it a fashion and a toy in blood, a violet in the youth of primy nature, forward, not permanent, sweet, not, not lasting, the perfume and suppliance of a minute, no more. Ophelia, no more but so, Laertes, think it no more. For nature crescent does not grow alone in thews and bulk, but as this temple waxes, the inward service of the mind and soul, gro soul grows wide with all. Perhaps he loves you now, and now no soil nor cortel doth besmirch the virtue of his will. But you must fear his, his greatness weighed. His will is not his own. For he himself is subject to his birth. He may not as unvalued persons do carve for himself. For on his choice depends the safety and health of this whole state. Then if he says he loves you, it fits your wisdom so far to believe it, as, as he in his particular act and place may give a saying deed, which is no further than the main voice of Denmark grows with all. Then weigh what loss your honour may sustain, if with too creed and dare you list, his, you list his songs, or lose your heart, or your chaste treasure open to his unmastered importunity. Fear it, Ophelia, fear it, my dear sister, and keep you in the rear of your affection, out of the shot and danger of desire. Cheriest maid is prodigal enough if she unmask her beauty to the moon. The canker galls the infants of the springs too oft before their buttons be disclosed, and in the morn and liquid dew of youth, contagious blastments are most imminent. Be weary then, best safety lies in fear. Youth to itself rebels, though none else near. Ophelia, I shall the effect of this good lesson keep as watchman to my heart, but good my brother, do not as some ungracious pastors do, show me the steep and thorny way to heaven, whilst like a puffed and reckless libertine, himself the primrose path of dalliance treads, and wrecks not his own reed. There it is, so fear me not, I stay too long. But here my father comes, a double blessing is a double grace, occasion smiles upon a second leave, enter Polonius. Polonius, yet here there it is, aboard, aboard for shame, the wind sits in the shoulder of your sail, and you, and you are stayed for. There, my, my blessing with thee, and these few precepts in thy memory look thou character. Give thy thoughts no tongue, nor any unproportioned thoughtless act. Be thou familiar, but by no means vulgar. Those friends thou hast, and their adoption tried, grapple them into thy soul with hoops of steel. But do not dull thy palm with entertainment of each new hatched unfledged courage. Beware of entrance to a quarrel, but being in, bear it, that the opposed may be beware of thee. Take each man's censure, but reserve thy judgment. Costly thy habit as thy purse can buy, but not expressed in fancy, rich, not gaudy, for the apparel oft proclaims the man, and they in France have the best rank and station of a most select and generous chief than that. And neither a borrower nor a lender be, for loan oft loses both itself and friend, and borrowing dulleth edge of husbandry. This above all, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as the night the day, thou canst not then be false to any man. Farewell, my blessing seasonless in thee, Leodes. Most humbly do I take my leave, my lord. Polonius, the time invites you. Go, your servants tend. Laertes, farewell, Ophelia, and remember well what I have said to you. Ophelia, tis in my memory locked, and you yourself shall keep the key of it. Laertes, farewell. Exit. Polonius, what is it, Ophelia, he hath said to you? Ophelia, so please you, my lord, something touching the lord Hamlet. Polonius, marry, well be thought, tis told me he hath very oft of late given private time to you, and you yourself have of your audience been most free and bounteous. If it be so, as so it is put on me, and that in way of caution, I must tell you, you do not understand yourself so clearly as it behooves my daughter and your honour. Uh, your honour, What is between you? Give me up the truth. Ophelia. He hath, my lord, of late made many tenders of his affection to me. Polonius. Affection? Pooh! You speak like a green girl, unsifted in such perilous circumstance. Do you believe as tenders as you call them? Ophelia. I, I do not know, my lord, what I should think. Polonius. Marry, I will teach you. Think yourself a baby, that you've taken these tenders for true pay, which are not sterling. Tender yourself more dearly. Oh, not to crack the wind of a poor phrase running it thus, you'll tender me a fall. Ophelia, my lord, he, he hath importuned me with love and honourable fashion. Polonius, I fashion you may call it. Go to, go to. Ophelia, and hath given countenance to a speech, my lord, with almost all the holy vows of heaven. Polonius, I springs to catch woodcocks. I do know when the blood burns how prodigal the soul lends the tongue vows. 
These blazes, daughter, giving more light than heat, extinct in both even in their promise as it is a making, as it is a making you must not take for fire. From this time, be something... From this time, be something scant of your maiden presence. Set your entreatments at a higher rate than a command to parlay. For Lord Hamlet believes so much in him that he is young, and with a larger tether may he walk than may be given you. And few, Ophelia, do not believe his vows, for they are brokers. Not of that dye which their investments show, but mere implorators of unholy suits, breathing like sanctified and pious boards, the better to beguile. <laughs> this is for all. I would not in plain terms from this time forth have you so slender give... So slander any moment leisure to give words of talk with the Lord Hamlet. Look to it, I charge you. Come your ways. Ophelia, I shall obey my lord. Exit. I think that's it. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't already, go back to the beginning of the series and watch um, Act 1, Scene 1. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And um, I look forward to seeing you again when I do Act 1, Scene 4 coming soon. See ya.